What's up, guys? Teacher Corey here, English Tiger. And today I'm going to take the Cambridge General English Assessment Test online. I will give my answers and explain why I chose those ones. I have not seen this test before. You'll be looking at it as the first time with me, and I'll give my answers on the spot. We'll see how I do. I'll be pretty embarrassed if I get any of them wrong. So let's take a look, guys. As you can see, I'm on cambridgeenglish.org, and this is the Test Your English section. We are going to take the general English test today. Okay, here we are. So I see our questions below. Please choose the best option to complete the sentence or conversation. So this normally means there could be more than one answer, but they want you to choose the best one for that question. Now let me see if I can resize this a little bit. Okay. So our first one, can I park here? Sorry, I did that. This one cannot be the right answer because you're asking if you can park here. You haven't done it yet, so you cannot use, sorry, I did that. That would be for something you've already done. It's the same place. This one, cannot be the answer either because there's no other place in the question. We haven't talked about another place yet, so it cannot be the same place. Only for half an hour. This is the answer. Because that means you can park there for 30 minutes, no more. You can park for less if you want but no more than 30 minutes. So that answers the question. Can I park here only for half an hour? Means yes, you can. And number two, what color will you paint the children's bedroom? I hope it was right. This would be the answer if you already chose a color. I painted the bedroom blue. Oh, I hope it was right. But for this one, you're trying to choose what color. No answer was given yet, so it cannot be right. We can't decide. So this one could be right. What color will you paint the children's bedroom? If you don't know, you can say, we can't decide. That means you haven't chosen the color yet. You cannot make up your mind on it. You don't know. Oh, we can't decide. It wasn't very difficult. This one cannot be the answer because you haven't done it yet. We have will in the question. That means it's future tense. Wasn't is past tense. So that one cannot work. It must be number two. I can't understand this email. Would you like some help? This one is probably right because they can't understand it. They might need some help to understand it. So the person is offering their help. This is a good answer. Don't you know? This one is not good because they already said they don't know. So you don't need to ask them again. They just said it. I suppose you can. This one's not a good answer too because they already said they can't do it. So just telling them you think they can doesn't help anything. So it must be number one. 
I'd like two tickets for tomorrow night. How much did you pay? This one could be right if your sentence said, I have two tickets for tomorrow night. But since it's I'd like, you have not paid yet. So you, this one cannot have did. Afternoon and evening. This doesn't work because it's not a complete sentence. It said, I'd like two tickets for tomorrow night. Yeah. Would you like morning and afternoon? But that's probably not right. You normally want two tickets for the same time. I'll check for you. This must be the right answer because he's going to check if they have two tickets available. So this is a good one. All right, and our next one, number five, our last one, I should say, number five. Shall we go to the gym now? I'm too tired. This one could be right. Let's mark it for now because you're saying, no, I'm too tired to exercise. I can't go to the gym now. It's very good. This one doesn't work. Shall we go to the gym now? It's very good. No, because there's no it's in this question, because you're asking, shall we go? If the question was about the gym, is the gym good? So, oh, yes, it's very good. And not at all. This one doesn't fit either. Because not at all cannot answer, shall we go? You could say no or not right now. But not at all would be more the answer to, do you like going to the gym? So this one will stick number one. I'm too tired. I don't want to go to the gym. Oh, I'm not sure if there's more questions. Let's click next. Okay. Oh, I see up here, page two of five. So we have a few more to go. His eyes were da, 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 bad that he couldn't read the number plate of the car in front. His eyes were such bad. No, that doesn't fit. His eyes were too bad that he couldn't read. This one's a little better. His eyes were so bad that he couldn't read. This one, I think, is going to be the answer. This one fits. We often use so to give the reason to something. He was so tired, he collapsed on the stairs. His eyes were so bad, he couldn't read the plate. So the reason he couldn't read the plate is because his eyes were so bad. His eyes were very bad that he couldn't know. Because it has that, you can't have very. The company needs to decide that, 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 and for all what its position is on this point. The company needs to decide here and for all, no. You could say the company needs to decide here what to do, but not with for all. Company needs to decide once and for all. I'm 100% sure this is the right answer. Once and for all is a very common saying in English. It means you have to finally make the last decision. Once and for all, Let's decide this. This is what we'll do. I don't even need to do the other two. I'm sure of this one. 
I'll be very embarrassed if I get that wrong in the edit. Don't put your cup on the da, 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 of the table. Somebody will knock it off. Outside. This one doesn't work. Because that would be off of the table already. You're worried somebody will knock it off. And you want to put it on the. So outside can't work. Edge of the table. Yes. Because that would be right on the very edge. Right near it. If you put your cup there. You could be afraid somebody will knock it off. This one could be right. Boundary. Now this one is a lot like edge. It technically could be boundary, but edge is much better. And same with border actually, because these could be like the ending of something or the outside of something. You could have like a border around your window. It could be the outside edge or the Boundary of the playground is the outside edge where you cannot go out. What? For something like a table or an object where you can fall off or go down, edge is a much better answer. This one. Is. Yes, so I decided to cut this video into two parts because it actually went on quite long. I know a lot of you don't have a full 30 minutes in your day to watch a video. So I've broken this one into a couple pieces. You'll get part two next week. I release every Wednesday. Go, go to the Cambridge website. Try this test out yourself. You can use some of my advice from these first answers and do the second half of the test yourself. And we'll see if you can beat my score next week. Good luck with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I'll see you all next Wednesday. Have a good one.